On December 12, 1952, a nuclear reactor in Ontario exploded and began melting down. To prevent eventual mass destruction from a full meltdown, Canada requested help from the U.S. So the U.S. sent a team of men to help disassemble the reactor. And on that team was 28-year-old Jimmy Carter, who was then a lieutenant in the Navy. But with the amount of radiation that was being emitted, the men could only be exposed for a maximum of 90 seconds. So to prepare, they built a replica reactor and ran drills on the process to, quote, be sure we had the correct tools and knew exactly how to use them. Once they were confident in the process, it was game time. They were lowered into the reactor in teams for up to 90 seconds at a time to unscrew bolts bit by bit. And the young Carter was one of those men who descended bravely to help contain one of the most hazardous materials on the face of the planet. Thankfully, the mission was successful and the core was safely removed. But for six months afterward, everyone involved was tested for radioactivity. Luckily, there were no apparent after effects from this exposure, just a lot of doubtful jokes amongst ourselves about death versus sterility. Given the fact that Jimmy Carter is now the longest living president in U.S. history, it's probably now safe to say that it didn't cause too much damage.